Everybody, we're going to get started here. It's 11 o'clock and it's time to get going with our Freedom Rally. Let's hear it. Let's hear some noise. If you want more freedom in the state of Minnesota, stand up and yell. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for freedom. Let's hear it for freedom. We face a lot of problems in Minnesota right now, but the biggest problem we face is arrogance. Uh, the liberals are convinced that they are right and that anyone who doesn't agree with them is wrong. And the big problem with that is these are the people that don't understand where their food comes from and they don't understand how the electricity gets to their houses. So despite this ignorance, they want to tell farmers how to farm and they want to mandate electricity companies use sources of electricity that don't work when the weather doesn't cooperate. It's Minnesota. It snowed a foot three days ago. When does the weather cooperate? We need to preserve our freedoms in Minnesota, and I want you all to look into the middle of the rotunda right now at the North Star right here. Always stanchioned off, never to be touched or walked on. It is a secular symbol that is upheld in the state of Minnesota, a sign of freedom. And I want you to know, on Friday, a group of people that came in to the rotunda and had an event as they can crossed a line that should never have been crossed by stepping over the sanction, the stanchions, stepping over and dancing on that star in a very wrong, wrong way. That is something that is symbolic of what is being brought forward in our state, that it is stamping on our freedom, it is stamping on the true North Star, and we will not stand up for that in this state at all. Those that remove protections for our most vulnerable are wrong. Those who are fighting and have fought against it are right. Those who want to continue to restrict law-abiding gun owners believing that this will somehow lower crime and protect children. Walls is full of it. Passing laws that are going to do the exact opposite while they continue to lower penalties for criminals. They're wrong. You who are fighting against it, you're right. But I'm here today to tell the DFL to leave our children alone. They claim the changes will benefit children of color. But I, who am obviously a black woman, beg to differ. And I have said so at two committee hearings. Because I'm telling you, I'm tired of black people being used to push this stupid Marxist agenda. Minnesotans, we cannot and we will not sit back and let our governor, our attorney general, and our legislature trample on our freedoms. Keep telling your legislators to be our voice at the Capitol and to stand with 70% of Minnesotans who do not agree with their extreme abortion regime. To be clear, we in this room do not condone hate as some may claim. This is about keeping our children whole. I want to bring out the Minnesota State Senate here. Come on, Senate Republicans, come on out here. This is the team. Folks, this is the team that is working day in and day out through committees, through floor sessions, hour after hour, protecting your rights in the state of Minnesota. Amen. We're fighting every day for you. This team right here is the top-notch team that's working for you, and we appreciate your support and we feel your prayers. Common sense. That's what they say. Common sense, right? They want common sense gun control. They want just universal background checks, which creates a registry of every gun owner in the state. They want red flag firearm confiscation, where your firearms are taken from you with, through a secret court order. They want to ban magazine capacity based on some arbitrary number backed by nothing. They want you to force you to have law enforcement into your home without a warrant to search and make sure that your firearms are being safely stored. They want all of these things and they call it common sense. 
Why is common sense so uncommon? That is not common sense. So what have we got proposed here in this session? Even with an $18 billion surplus, we have a proposal for a metro area sales tax. Boo, down with that. We have proposals for hikes in fishing licenses and state park permits. Boo. We have a new regressive payroll tax proposed to fund the paid family and medical leave system. This will increase taxes on the lowest earners the most. By the DFL's own designation, this is a regressive tax. And there is even a proposal to add a tax onto the delivery of everything from Amazon packages to pizza. Now that's where you cross a line. <laughs> there are two Americas. Which one do we want to be part of? Do we want to be part of an America that's growing, that's becoming more prosperous, and that's creating freedom and opportunity? Yeah. Yeah. Or do we want to remain part of the America that is shrinking, that is taxing people into oblivion, where economic growth is stagnant and job creation is non-existent, and that people can't wait to get away from? Yeah. Let's have people moving north up I-35, not south. Thank you very much. That's me done. All right, thanks a lot, John. Now, before we wrap up, we wanted to play music before the rally started, some kind of inspiring patriotic music. They told us, no, sorry, you can't play music in the rotunda. You might have noticed that when we started cheering right at the beginning of this rally, Bill Walsh was beating on this drum. It made a lot of noise. Well, then we got a message, you can't use a drum. You can't use a drum. And so, and so, I want to raise the roof on this rotunda, and we are going to have to do it with our voices. So everybody, stand up, stand up, stand up for freedom, stand up for freedom, stand up for Minnesota, stand up for freedom, stand up for Minnesota. And let's tell, let's tell our legislators, let's tell our legislators, Stop the madness! 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 All right, all right. We've made ourselves heard today and believe me they could hear you all over this building and beyond and now let's all go home and make it happen thank you all for coming <laughs> <laughs>